Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how you can get data from database using Axios and display them here. In the previous video, we learned how to uh, add task uh, to the database and we get no notification for adding the task. So of course, we should see the message here. We will discuss them in the following videos. In this video, we will just display them here. Let's see how we can do that. First of all, let's create another com uh, view component. I will just save this one as a task list that view this is just fine for now and I will remove the the form here we don't need it and the, this should be task list not a task form we have our mounted uh, function here it will it is something extra for now we have our data and we have our methods here we don't need actually the methods none, none of them this is just fine okay I will save it for now and let's uh, register our component too so I'll just close the sidebar and register the component component that here we will give it a name uh, and the require again from the same directory it should go to the component and then we have task list that view and give it the proper name as well so let's see how we can read it from the database for now we should send an uh, again an axios an http request with axios to the database to get the data and then we can populate them outside here to do that first of all we must uh, have the, our data so I will go to the controller and get all those data from database and return them I will open the index controller here as you can see so I will return first we return the task all it will get all data in Laravel it will uh, by default it will just convert it to a JSON then then we can use it so if someone send a request to this URL we will just take all the tasks from database this is just fine for now let's send our uh, request as you can see we have mounted here mounted means when our the component was called or when our component was was uh, created something like that instead of the mounted you can just write the created as well both work the same way if it is created created the component or if someone used this component all you need to know is uh, all you need to do is just send the request to the database and get the data again we will use the axios get it will just go to the api slash task we need to go to this url and the second parameter we will just get those data uh, as you can see it will just send data uh, send a request a get request to the task and we uh, can get the data from that url it means we do need to just have another parameter for this one because we are not sending request and then we have the then function here then means after you send the request you will have your data what should you do with that data again here inside the then I will write a little code here to take those data and assign it to the data property here as you can see the data function will return an object here so let's just have a task here and it should be an empty array for now task no a tasks because it will contain all the tasks for us so as you can see now inside the then I will say that you have the data you should display that display the uh, take those data and assign that to our uh, uh, task array here if you look at the documentation for Axios as you can see for the post request of course you send data but when you are sending a get request let's say to the user okay without parameter you just send a request and then you have uh, your response here the response will contain all your, all your data from the the URL you have so for our purposes if we come here I will use the short form uh, for the response here this is the ES6 version you say response is equal to this dot tasks which refer to our array here is equal to response dot data 
it will take all the data from the response the response is uh, that the response will come from here if you have any data that from that you can get from this URL and assign that to the task variable here so I will save it and let's refresh our page if you refresh your page okay we have not used it so okay we have it for now it will not do anything so we have our data here it is just fine now our task variable should have all those data our task array of course you can display it here for now if you display that in an li you can use the v4 directive here you say for v4 task in tasks now you have your task and it will take all the tasks and put you put uh, one by one inside the task if you have any for our purposes I think we have two tasks we have created so I will display the task title here task dot title if I save it for now as you can see we have a, a little error here I will show you how you can fix that one too uh, okay for now if we hardware uh, okay we have not called it yet so when you register it of course you should call it in your view I will come to the home and here above the, the, the form I will just write task list I'll save it and this time if I refresh my page it should just say task list and it will list all the tasks we have in the database this is just this much simple so how you are going to solve this error this error by the Visual Studio is lint and you can solve it easily do this is not important because uh, uh, I don't know in the documentation I read that this it is not a problem again you can just write a key for your uh, uh, for your array here and then you say task.id as you can see it just fixed the problem and it works just fine now you have your key here all as well I will explain about the key more in details and how why you are using the key and all of those things in Vue.js of course in the future for now as you can see we have displayed our task here very very clean and uh, this, this is it for uh, how you can read data from database using Axios and in the following video we will continue our discussion on how you can just create data without refreshing the page it should automatically add them here for now the problem is if I am repairing a car let's add the task ok adding the task but we don't have it here unless we refresh our page so as you know we are going to build a single page application it is not going to refresh the page so it should appear here without refreshing the page and everything should become uh, asynchronously so I hope it has been informative for you in the next videos we will continue our discussion thank you for watching